Hi, kindergarten through second grade. Today we're going to do um, a vase with flowers in it. Here's the picture I drew for it. So let's do this portrait. So the long ways. Some of you call this door. Okay. The correct way is portrait, even though we're not drawing an actual portrait. But if you were to print a picture on your com from your computer, it, choose, it has you choose between portrait or landscape, and this means portrait, all right? So let's start. We're gonna start with, don't do this first step high or you won't have room for your flowers, all right? So we wanna do it about middle, a little lower than the middle of your page, or even just right at the middle is fine. So I'm starting with a very loose, skinny oval, sideways oval. I want directly below it, center. I'm gonna do this invisible line. I'm gonna do a smaller oval. It needs to be similar to the same oval on top, but just smaller, and it needs to be center. You don't want it to be to the side right here. Then it won't make sense, okay? It needs to be center. So it can be symmetrical, okay? On this side, I'm going to do this part of the vase, then I'm going to try to do copy this on this side, but the opposite way. Okay. So I'm going to go out and then in. All right. Now I have my vase. Let's make a horizon line for our table. Try to go here. Okay. We have a horizon line. Let's have our water line inside. There's the water for our plants. Okay, first step we're going to do is three circles. One here, one here, and one here. Okay, for three different flowers. Now I'm going to draw a stem coming down for each one. That's easy enough, right? You can thicken each of those stems up a little bit, not too thick. If you can't do this step, then just keep it the one line. It's hard to draw such a skinny line. Okay. Now we're going to do two straight ones. These will be for just leaves. Okay, like a stem of leaves. All right. Oops. All right, next step. Let's start with the leaf stems because those are easier. So I want you to draw any way you know how to draw leaves on these leaf stems. Okay, simple enough. The center flower is going to be the easiest. So let's start with that. Don't do the other two the same. These are going to be a little different. So we're going to kind of do square petals, but not really square. There's nothing square about this petal, but it's not perfectly rounded either. So it's just like, imagine just like the square beginning of a square, but without pointy ends, it's like curvy ends. If you can't do it this way, do it any way you know how. Now, since I drew that petal right there, what do you think I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to erase the stem going through it. Okay. Easy. Next step, this one. Okay, this flower is, we're looking at the side view. So the top, it's going to look like those petals are small because there we can't see the whole thing all right we're just seeing part of it see i did these two small these two are medium and then i'm going to make these bigger just like the other flower these three again i have a stem going through this petal i'm going to erase that fix it here we go same thing on this side Okay. 
Then we get to make them a little bigger because we see more of it. It's probably bent under. We just can't see the whole thing. Okay, and erase the stem going through that petal again. And we are missing one last thing in this picture. It's a shadow. So I'm going to imagine my sunlight or my lamp is on this side. If my sunlight or lamp is on this side, that means it's shining on my vase this way. That means this side will be a shadow. So your shadow needs to resemble your shape that you're drawing. Okay? We're not going to see the whole thing because we don't have room. So I'm just going to do this right now, the outline for it for now. And then I'll show you how to color it. Pick a color for your wall. I'm going to pick orange. Well, that's like highlight orange. Well, okay, that's fine. You pick whatever you want. I'm using the side of a broken piece to fill this in. Go around your stuff carefully, but it doesn't have to be too careful. You can color over it when, with dark lines. And then when you're done, I'm not done, but when you are done, pick a color for your table. Okay. Oops. Okay, I'm going to pick... Well, you know, we're going to, since it's a see-through vase, you have to put a little bit of the wall showing through there. That's going to be tricky. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute afterwards. So just put a little bit of that color going through. And then let's pick a color for our table. I'm going to go with gray or let's see what else. Brown. We'll do brown. That's fine. Let's do brown. Fill it in lightly. And you're going to, again, have to go over the bottom portion because this is glass. And keep it light, okay? Okay, if, you, if you're too scared of doing this glass, then you can just fill this in with the color, but you're going to have to get rid of the stems. You won't see the stems. But I think it'll be fun to try something new. So once you have this in lightly, we're, you see the shadow still, the line? I'm going to fill that in a little darker. Since we already have the brown in our hands. The shadow is always the darkest closest to the object. So your shadow should be darker at the very closeness to that object. Now to make this look more like glass... We're going to use a little turquoise. I think that's turquoise. Nope. That's turquoise. And I'm going to kind of just go around the rim. And the edges. I'm going to kind of darken up this bottom. And I'm going to put streaks just lightly, so light. Just so it kind of has like this glare of glass. And then the water, I'm going to put that in as well. Maybe some ripples of water. Okay. And that should be good enough. All right. Let's do the green stems. Oh, and you know, if you wanted to add... I forgot, leaves on your flowers too. You could do that. I totally forgot about it. I'm going to put a couple. Okay, so let's put our stems in. You 
you can I like doing it like this with the leaves so I'm gonna fill them in lightly first after I fill them in lightly then I'm gonna go around the edge and darken the edge okay so you do it whichever way you want to And then pick a color for your flowers and uh, you also need yellow or orange for the pollen I'm gonna go with yellow you decide if you want to do yellow or orange I've even seen some other colors for pollen so whatever you want to do I'm gonna go with pink flowers for mine and yellow pollen I'm gonna start with the yellow pollen then I'm gonna fill in the pink petals And that is it. We do our pretty vase with flowers in it. I hope yours looks really good too. And I will see you again next week. Have fun. Be safe.